Hello Bloggineers, we are in Puerto Rico and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. First we're heading to Isabella. Now we're at Guajataca Forest Reserve. There's a cool looking observation deck up there. We're going to go. We're on top of the observation deck. It's kind of shaky, so I don't know how safe this is, but there is a great view. Good afternoon! Today, Calico jumped out from this tower! I'm gonna catch you, Calico! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> I got him! I did it! Now we're hiking to Cueva del Viento, which is Cave of the Wind. It's 2.55 kilometers, which is a little less than two miles each way. Oh, in 1935, they cut down this entire forest for cultivation. So now they can plant coffee. Forest. We're at the entrance to the cave and we're also in a danger zone. I think that's because the steps look sketchy. Okay, so what we're gonna do are we step, grab the rail, and make sure the steps are good. Make sure all the steps are good. We found the entrance to the cave. It looks pretty wild. So we're gonna go down there. Our plan is just to keep going until we're too scared. These are like the Hogwarts sticks, huh? They're kind of broken. Yeah, be careful. There's a mini step. That one don't step on. Yeah, just like in Hogwarts, something can't just stick stairs. This stalagmite here is in the process of forming. You can see it's wet. It looks so wet now. Look, right here, I'm using my, I'm using power, and you can hear it. It's so sticky. We've gone as far as we want to inside this cave because if we were to keep going, we would have to climb on the extremely sticky ground. This, I think, is a limestone. Wait, is it a limestone cave? Yes. Well, there are stalactites and stalagmites. And this might be the first of these types of caves I've been in where there's not a man made paved walkway because it's not a show cave. It feels very naturey, like we're in the process of nature occurring. And Everything's can, dripping around us. You can hear bats everywhere. We're gonna do a lights out demonstration for one minute, so we'll just all be completely silent in the pitch black. Okay, ready? Right. And go. go. Whoa, it's so dark. That was like deafening silence, almost. Except you were like breathing heavily. And that is the wind cave. I mean, technically we could have kept going down the cave. I don't know when it ends, but it would get a lot more nasty. And there's also another side you can go once you get to the bottom of the stairs here. But people told us that it's sticky and slippery. No, just slippery, not slippery. Oh, really? Okay. This is one of the best caves I've been to, though, because of how nature it is. And brother saw a bat, but I didn't. No, I didn't see a bat. My favorite part was, uh, I like the stairs coming down, but I also like all uh, the stalagmites and stalactites. Uh, everywhere and also I like the sticky floor. It felt very nice. Outside. 
It actually rained because I think we're in a rainforest. Our next stop is the town of Maya Gert. We are at Colum Plaza. In the center of the plaza is a bronze statue of Christopher Columbus. Google says that in 1493 on Columbus's second voyage, he landed in Puerto Rico and he named the island San Juan Bautista after St. John the Baptist, which is probably why the capital of Puerto Rico is still called San Juan. This is the city hall of Maya Gert. Right now, it's decorated with Christmas-related stuff. These are angels, I think. And here's the church. Since today is Sunday, there's a service going on, a New Year's Day service. The lights here are pretty interesting because it's statues with torches, but the torches have the light. Here's a board showing all of the December and January celebrations. Right now is New Year's Day, so it looks like they'll have three performances today. But since it's Sunday, Domingo, they're only open at night time. Oh wait, actually they're always only open at night time. I'm surprised that there's nothing for the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. I thought there would be more celebrations yesterday than today. Because today in the town square, it's completely dead. Everyone's sleeping. We're at the Yagas Theater. This was used as an opera house and to show silent movies. And it's still operating to this day. We're driving to our next destination. We're now in Aguadilla, and we're looking at a neighborhood with a lot of colorful houses. We walked up the colorful stairs, and here's a nice view of Aguadilla. On to the next point of interest. Our final stop is the Rincon Lighthouse. Unfortunately, you can't go inside the lighthouse or do much here, but it's a nice little park area and we're gonna go see the ocean real quick. Look, Deadpool's selling popcorn and fireworks. Hi, Deadpool. Stay tuned for more videos.